interval training is amazing for that. And that's what you're describing. And there's lots of different forms of interval training, but getting the heart rate way up and down and up and down. And that is great for lots of reasons, but for the brain purposes, there's a thing called BDNF, brain derived neurotropic factor. It's a chemical that is pumped out when you do intense exercise, especially with intervals. And that is a chemical that washes over your brain and helps your brain form new nerve pathways, no matter what your age, and to codify the pathways you already have formed. So it's great brain training. But also um, what they found is when you're doing that type of exercise and learning something new at the same time, you get way more BDNF pumped out and way better for the neurons. So both independently are awesome. Learning something new and the intense exercise intervals is great by themselves. When you put them together, it's better than twice as good. Also, as far as memory stuff goes, repetition is fine. You know, we always hear the repetition is the mother of learning and yes, it's good, but it's the recall that's even better. So if you learn something new, then walk away from it and then come back to, instead of just sitting there and, and repeating, repeating like we did when we were pulling all-nighters in college, instead, you space it out a little bit more. You learn it and then you walk away and then you come back and you try to recall it. That's better than repetition. Both are good, but the recall is the best to drive things into long-term. So for instance, if you're trying to remember somebody's name, what you would do in a perfect world is you would remember the name, you would try to anchor it with, with something else. Then in an hour, you come back and try to recall that name. Then you come back and try to recall it in a day. And then you come back in a week and try to recall it. And then it's, it, boom, it's in long term, better than repeating, repeating, repeating. So for college kids, this would be perfect. So they would, they would read their, their exam or their notes or text and then they'd reread whatever they needed to learn. So they'd highlight, right? And then they come back and reread the highlight stuff in an hour. And then the next day they reread it again. And then in a week, and then they're ready for their final exam. More than repeating, repeating, pulling an all-nighter. But the same goes for names and stuff. Because the spaced recall is what really drives it into the long term. But it also trains the brain permanently to get better at that. And so over time, not only are you good at recalling what you are trying to recall, but you're better at the process, kind of like learning a language. When you learn one language, then when, when you, you've mastered that, it's twice as easy to learn that second language. And then it's twice as easy again to learn that third language because you're forming these neural networks in there. And this is a good way to do that. Once you learn the person's name, then when you're alone, after a while, you would, as soon as you can, Write it down, and then with the cue about that person, something visually about their face. And then the next day, pull your notes out, do it again, and then put them away, and in a week, pull those yeah. same notes out and do it again. And just those three steps, hour, a day, a week, you'll most likely, you've got a huge chance of always remembering that person's name for the rest of your life. I get what you're saying and that's really common. And if we haven't used a nerve pathway for a while, it'll atrophy and go away. And that's how we forget stuff like names over time, over years. But with this process, you're actually coding it differently right from the start. And because you code it into your brain differently, it has more staying power. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>